Assalamu alaikum. Today we shall talk how to do SCF calculation using hybrid potential with Win2K. If we look at the user guide, we will see for hybrid functional there are several options. One is on site exec, exchange, and hybrid functional. Today we will show how to do the calculation with this one. For that, first we will show how to do, uh, we will show you the usual SCF calculation. Then we will do the same calculation with the hybrid potential so that I can show you the differences. We will use the nickel oxide structure. If you look at the structure, this is the nickel oxide and in the structure I have one nickel and one oxygen. Let's do the SCF calculation first. So I have initialized the system. Now I'll run the SF calculation. You can see here the in the command line there is no extra term. This is the all the usual terms. And when we will do the SF calculation with hybrid potential, we will see here an extra term. Okay, the calculation has finished. Let me plot the DOS so that I can uh, see the differences visually I will change the energy window Okay, if I plot the DOS now, you can see there is no gap in the system. Now let's do the SCF calculation with the hybrid potential. Before doing that, let me save this in a different name, the result. Let me use PBE. So now, while doing this, you can see here all the files are saved as uh, in PBE, rename the PBE. Okay, now while doing the SCF calculation, we will select this one. This is the hybrid DFT for electron. So if we click here, it will give you a file with the details and you need to edit it for your system. Now if we look at this description of the system, so this is the expression that is for the on-site hybrid potential and here the descriptions are given. So if you use a PVE, this is what I was using. This is a default function when we initialize with uh, the default values, it uses a PVE potential. So for that, you can choose the alpha value. The alpha is here. You can choose the values. If you look at this, this is the alpha value. And um, you can uh, change the potentials in the file. If you, if you let me show you, uh, uh, sorry, files input so here is the potential you can change the file uh, sorry potential if you like now let me edit the file because as i have shown you i have only one atom that has d orbitals that is the nickel the oxygen don't have it so i don't need uh, for two atoms i'll change it so that i can do only for one atoms this is the n atom number of atoms and you need these lines as many time as atoms you have so since i have only one atom i will change this one also you can use uh, this function this mode also if you read the user guide just you need to go below that uh, you can uh, there are description for which mode which functions and how much you can use all the descriptions are given here you can choose uh, whatever you like you like to use so let me save this file let me save uh, I keep this alpha default value for this moment. Now I go to SCF calculation, select this one again. Now you can see I have an extra uh, flag minus EECE -E -E, that is actually to uh, do on site hybrid uh, calculation or use on site hybrid potential. Okay. Uh, the uh, calculation cost is uh, almost same as DFT or DFT plus U. 
ok. So, it is finished now let me plot the ok before plotting dot let me show you the result we will click on the analyze uh, I like to see the gap you can see the, the with the previous calculation there is no gap as you can also see from the dos but with this new calculation we have uh, this amount of uh, 3.4 or almost 3.5 electron gold gap for one spin and the, for the for the other spin it is 1.847 electron volt you can also visualize this from a dos or uh, band structure also let me plot the dos again to show you since i already have this file i don't need to do anything with this okay now i am ready to plot the dos we will do the same as before now you can see from here the differences so see here with the previous calculation there was no gap with this hybrid potential you can see the gap now let me show you what happens when i uh, change the value alpha that is this one the alpha value that we have used 0.25 now let me do the calculation with different alpha before doing that let me save this so that i can show you the uh, differences let me show you the name hybrid okay now i go to the input files the files input files i click on this one let me use this one uh, this time 0.85 okay the file has been saved let's run the scf again uh, it will take a bit of time okay the calculation has finished and before plotting the dos let us see the gaps analyze so it's all same now you can see with the pve we had zero with the hybrid that is alpha equals 0.85 we had three point uh, for one of the spin 3.48 for other 1.84 now with the 85 alpha equals 0.85 you can see we have significantly difference than this one now if we plot the dos we will also see the differences let's go to the dos and okay now i am ready to plot the dos So, uh, you can see from here, uh, let me, yes, now you can see from here, this is the first calculation with the PV potential, no hybrid, this is the hybrid potential, but we have used alpha equals 0.25 and this is the same hybrid potential with alpha equals 0.85. Now, you can see the differences between these two, there is the DOS looks uh, 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 different than this one both of them are not same not only the gap has increased the shape of the dos also changed so uh, it shows that the choice of exchange correlation functional is very important depending on your choice uh, you may find the different dos so whatever value you want to use that you have to understand and you have to decide it depending on your system if you have uh, uh, other calculation or if you have some experimental data then you can tune the alpha to fit your experimental data or for other calculation results. Okay, that's all for today. I hope this will be helpful. Thank you.